the Grand Course Day Doy Toys. Next three by one foot on grade one. This is Francis Premier Hurdle Race. Add insult to injury. Joshua Sutherland Castle sweeps John Morgan. Cottage Wine and Phil the Fear Craig Beckwith. Sudden excuse Darren Thompson. Zara Zeus by Drake Hogan. Casa Grande Smiles Vinnie Gerard. Isabella of Castile. Leon Van Rensburg. Movie Queen David Hooley. Shot to the heart Joshua Sutherland. And Twilight Wolf Leon Van Rensburg. And the French put more store on the stamina for the jumping, and the three mile hurdle is their championship division, really. Well, it's two for us over in Britain. They get over the first of the 19, I think it is, flights they're going to take. Indeed, it is. And add insult to injury and shot to the heart. Are clear in the lead. And on Twilight Wolf and Castle Swoops. So they race past the stand for the first of probably three times, I would guess. I've got a feeling that apart from this course, they take it the opposite way round. I oh, may be wrong, I can't remember. It's a pretty confusing track sometimes, this one. They certainly don't jump over any barriers in this race like they did earlier on today. To add insult to injury, will lead over the second as he did over the first. He's four or five clip. I feel the fear. Just a little untidy at the back, but nothing to be concerned about. Tucked himself in on the inside, and that may actually have done him some favour because he'll probably be saving quite a bit of ground. Creeping around the inside behind that, those Leon Van Rinsburg horses. So over the third they go. And add insult to injury. And come out of the trees in the lead four clear. Of Isabella of Castile shot to the heart and castle sweeps virtually three in a line. And Cottage Wine with Twilight Wolf on his inside, Zara Zeus on his outside, wider still the purple jacket of Movie Queen. In the back three, I feel the fear on the inside, sudden excuse in the centre, and the green jacketed Casa Grande smiles wide. All over the fourth, okay. And into the fifth. Walk safely over there. remaining pretty much the same as they take number six that insult to injury clear oh Josh who's going to be the champion trainer at the end of this season at the end of this week that's been pretty much in the back for a while David Hewley's done really well though. I think he's probably going to finish second and Darren Thompson is probably going to be up there in the money stakes because he won all three of the late season Grand Nationals, didn't he? I don't know if he won the uh, Welsh one earlier on. But he definitely won the proper Grand National, the one at Aintree, the Scottish Grand National and the Irish one as well. All over that one. And add insult to injury continues to lead. Castle sweeps in second. Shot to the heart, fill the fear. And Isabella of Castile. Cottage wine. Isabella of Castile sounds like a brand of wine, doesn't it? Just to me, anyway. Then Movie Queen on the outside of Zaru Zeus. They passed the winning post again. They've got one more circuit to go. And add insult to injury is five lengths clear. Oh, Castle sweeps in second. Shot to the heart, third. And feel the fear four. Movie Queen next. Feel the fear four. That's a bit like that East 54455. Five, five. What is it? East 55454. Five, five, they don't want the score to be. I think it's that one. East 55454. Five, five, four. I did actually call two horses East 55 five, and one other one 454 four, a few seasons ago. And unfortunately for me, they didn't get into the team. The reason I wanted them to get into the team because they would have almost certainly been running every week on the flat on day one. And back in those days, Doug was the commentator on day one, and he would have done his head in. It would have been a right laugh. As you can imagine, those of you who have been around a long time, I've got a great deal of stick from our Australian friend this weekend. I think his Brighton team turned up at Goodison Park and gave us a walloping thumping. And Stu wasn't too far behind him in his gloating either. So they're, but they're both still alive and kicking if anybody's interested, and I'm still trying to persuade them both to come back, but my powers of persuasion are not what they were. 
both given me a reasonably rough time of it over the last day or two after the football. Over the 14th we go. And shot to the heart and add insult to injury are clear in the lead from Twilight Wolf in third. And Phil the Fear is fourth. And the sudden excuse and castle sweeps as they get over the next. Which they're all over safely. And down to the business end of the race then now over this funny double for the fourth last and the third last and it's adding sorts of injuries in the lead from Twilight Wolf in second shot to the heart is in third then sudden excuse feel the fear running a big race back in fifth as they begin the turn for home and it's still add insult to injury who's got the lead add insult to injury in front from Twilight Wolf in second shot to the heart is third then sudden excuse is back in fourth feel the fear is next then Isabella off Castile Castle sweeps and cottage wide after that they're heading down towards the final two and it's probably between the leading two it's add insult to injury and Twilight Wolf over the second last they go Twilight Wolf looks to be going slightly the better at the moment but add insult to injury is still in the lead add insult to injury Twilight Wolf racing down towards the final flight. Here ahead, bobbing again as they get over the final flight. There's nothing between the two of them. Over on the far side, it's just add insult to injury. Twilight Wolf on this near side, add insult to injury, does not want to be beaten. And he's sticking his neck out again. And add insult to injury inside the final quarter furlong. It's going to be add insult to injury that's going to take it from fast finishing Twilight Wolf in second. Third was shot to the heart, sudden excuse. There's a bit of Castile. And couple more strides and we may have had to get the camera out but Twilight Wolf was definitely coming back but I think he virtually pulled up on the leader so what a piece of very brave riding very stupid riding but whatever he's won anyway so it doesn't really matter adding sorts of injury for Joshua Sutherland takes the Grand Course Doi 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 the top hurdle race in France Twilight Wolf second more Leon Van Rensburg shot to the heart Joshua Sutherland third sudden excuse Darren Thompson fourth Isabella of Castile for the Van Rensburg was fifth and I'll be back tomorrow for day two of the final week.